Hi everyone, it's Cindy from Cindy's Corner and it's Sunday and I'm doing a bit of meal prep um, and now I'm kind of showing you what I do with what was left over. So I set up a meal prep for myself where I cut up uh, some of my crock pot chicken and some rice, I made rice and I have some broccoli here and this is uh, I seasoned this and this is what I'm going to be having for lunches for the week. So I have these uh, you know, microwave ready containers, you know, some I put in the freezer and this one's going to go with me to work tomorrow. So, but when I made the rice, I had a lot of leftover rice and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do with that? You know, a lot of times I package it up in um, quart bags, you know, and put it in the freezer, you know, to use for another time. But tonight I thought, you know, why don't I make like a rice salad? It's 80 degrees outside and it's hot. So I'm going to be wanting cold things to eat. So I took the leftover rice and, you know, the other night I made that pineapple salsa, which was so delicious. Let me tell you. So I had leftover ingredients from that. So I took my rice, I mixed up kind of a dressing out of mayonnaise, a little bit of plain yogurt. I flavored it with salt, uh, celery salt, pepper, and I put a little lemon juice in it to thin it out. Okay, not too thin, but just a little bit. Then I mixed it with the rice together, and you know, then later on I was gonna, you know, figure out what how I wanted to flavor it. So I decided I'd take all the leftovers from the pineapple salsa recipe and chop it all up and make it into a rice salad. So this is what I have. I have the pineapple, I have a little leftover green onion, I have yellow chopped pepper, I have some red pepper, I mean red onion. Uh, jalapeno pepper here in the middle, minced celery, and some orange pepper. And now the other two things that I'm going to do last is a tomato and some cucumber. So I just wanted to show you again how to seed a tomato because, you know, all of these items in here all have a, a degree of water in them. So that's going to dilute the dressing. So you don't want your dressing to be too thin when you're gonna add a lot of fresh vegetables. So let me just show you how I'm gonna seed this tomato. So the first thing I'm doing is the core end. I'm gonna just go in a circle around that with my knife and I'm gonna pull that core out. And I've got my little compost bag here. Okay, so now we've got it cored. Okay, now we're gonna cut it across the equator Okay, and this is what it looks like inside. So you see there's a lot of liquid, there's seeds. So what you're gonna do here, I usually kind of use my knife to balance it in my hand. And now I'm gonna squeeze the heck out of it. Okay, and now whatever comes out there, I'm gonna use my knife to scrape it into my compost. And I'm gonna turn it the other direction and squeeze it. And now I'm getting all the seeds out of there and there's a lot of juice that comes out of there too which is really great okay now let's do the other one so here we go so it looks like this so we're gonna I use the knife to kind of get a good grip on there and look at all that seeds and juice coming out of there now you might think that this would ruin the tomato but it doesn't it just really gets rid of all the excess le uh, liquid seeds it doesn't damage the flesh so there's how it looks after it's been seeded okay so the flesh looks really intact so now what i do here is i'm just going to slice it into strips and then i'm going to cut it into chunks now anytime i'm making a salad or anytime i'm going to have chopped fresh tomatoes this is the process that i do Okay, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to cut across, and this doesn't, you know, for my purposes, this doesn't have to be super pretty, it doesn't have to be, you know, <laughs> exact, this is fine, just like this, for me. Okay, and now I'm going to take the other one, and I'm going to cut it into strips. And 
and then I cut it across. Okay. Now I'm going to take, okay, so now that you've kind of seen what all the colors look like here, I'm, I'm not going to be too precious about getting these in there. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get the tomatoes in there. And I'm going to get some cucumber. Oh, I think I better get it on the top. This is the thing with it, vegetables. They release a lot of liquid, so I'm constantly kind of mopping, mopping up my area, my cutting board. So that, because you know, you can, you can, um, if it's wet, you could slip, you know, with your grip, your knife. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this guy, this cucumber in half, and then I'm going to cut it into strips, and then I'll cut it into dice. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I went for a walk yesterday down to Astoria Park overlooking the East River, which overlooks Manhattan. And I got to see the geese and it was uh, a really beautiful day. The temperature, it was like in the mid 70s. It's a little warmer today, but it was really lovely yesterday. And I, I caught five miles of walking in, so I'm really happy. Okay, so there's part of my cucumber, and I just got the other one to go, and then I'll be all ready to toss. This will last me a good number of days. I don't know if it will last the whole week, but I'm sure it will last a good four days probably. Okay, so that's what it's looking like now. Okay, so now I'm going to take a spoon. Let's see, what's, what's going to be good? I think this one, I like this one a lot. This one can really get down in there and because of the paddle, it will toss things really well. So I'm going to toss this and get it all mixed up and then we'll see, you know, I want to let it sit for a while to um, let those flavors develop and then we're going to see, you know, if it needs any more dressing or more seasoning and, uh, you know, this is going to be a, a wonderful thing to eat. That's nice and cool on a hot day. You know, when dinner, the end of my workday ro rolls around, you know, I'm, I don't always feel like cooking, you know, sometimes, and it's really good to have a prepared salad like this that isn't going to wilt, you know, so something like this, a rice salad or a pasta salad, definitely you can meal prep ahead of time and this will last you for days and it will be tasty. It's very colorful, this salad. Okay, so this is this is how it's looking now. Okay, and uh, that's going to be really good for my work week coming up. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, and have a great rest of your weekend. So long.